Hello and welcome to News 6. The program is brought to you today by the 6th grade class at St. Charles School in Lima. To tell you first about what's happening in Lima, here's Chris. The Kibbe Corner Project is an attempt to rebuild a poor neighborhood on the corners of Kibbe and Main Streets. Four area churches decided in 1975 that something had to be done about this rundown and unsafe area. The goal of the four block project is to make the area safe and attractive so more people will want to live in this business, residential, and entertainment section. The approximate cost of the project in the first year is over $300,000. Many area business have been remodeled and, and the new residential senior citizen center called the Lima Towers is filled to a capacity. Kibbe Corners is coming back to life. Each year, the city and area sixth grade classes are invited to an unusual experience. Officer Meyer of the Lima Police Department explains what it is. We bring every sixth grade class in the city of Lima to spend a half a day in the Hall of Justice. We spend one hour in Judge Andrews' traffic court. Uh, the kids have a chance to see court in progress and have a chance to talk to the judge, ask the judge questions, uh, concerning as to why uh, certain penalties were given. And uh, Judge Andrews does answer all this. We then visit the clerk of courts to see how the records are kept and then spend the rest of the morning touring the Lima Police Department. We show everything that we have here because uh, the sixth graders' parents own this building. The tour through the police department was conducted by Officer Meyer. We visited the radio room, the artillery room, and the squad room. This year, 37 sixth grade classes will take the tour. Officer Meyer explained to News 6 reporters Laura and Joni the idea behind the tours. Whose idea was this program and when did it start? The program started back in 1972 and I just wanted to be able to do something for some of the kids in the city of Lima to be able to get them to see the police department. Uh, why was this started? Uh, we had some problems off and on with some of the school kids uh, not uh, obeying what the police officer had asked them. So I thought uh, a program like this would get the uh, kids just a little bit closer to the police department, get the police department closer to the kids. The heavily secured jail cells on the second floor highlighted the field trip. The students were locked in the cells but, but decided not to stay because snacks and pop would not be served. The Lama Area Youth Orchestra was organized in 1968 to enable the more talented music students to gain in learning and experience. The students from grades 9 through 12 rehearse every Saturday and sometimes on Sunday during the season, which is from October to April. In addition, pupils are given private lessons by area specialists twice a month. The Youth Orchestra practices and performs at Lima's landmark Memorial Hall. They perform five times a year and one of those performances is given for all the fifth and sixth graders in the Lima area. Here is a small look at what they sound like during that performance. Now to tell you about what's happening in school, here's Nick. All of the grades at St. Charles are involved in interesting and fun projects. For example, the first grade has turned itself into an Indian village. Miss Steinecker's room looks like a real Indian village's town hall, all decorated with Indian designs and crafts. While doing a unit on families, 
these first graders became interested in the Indians' way of life. To better understand these traditions, they are busy trying to copy the skills of the red men. They are weaving colorful rugs, baskets, and vests. They are also forming pots decorated with Indian designs. They are trying to be authentic, since Miss Steinecker brought pictures from a real Indian village reservation in the southwest to help in the unit. The fifth and sixth grade math room is also a scene of some interesting activities. Ones that go clickety clickety click. The click is coming from the audio visual machines. We have digiters, sound pages, and classmate 88s. All four digiters help us to master the basic facts in addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It's much more fun to learn these facts on a digiter than by yourself because we have games to play on the machines. The sound page is an audio visual machine with programs about whole number concepts fractions, and geometry. The other machines, the Classmate 88s, can be used as calculators. The machines o help overcome individual weaknesses because they can be programmed for the problem areas. This all adds up to learning can be fun. Our seventh graders have something to croak about. In Mrs. Island's science classes, they have been dissecting frogs. This was included in the study of multi-celled animals, including man. At first, the seventh graders were squeamish about making the first cut in the chest cavity. But soon, they learned to go even farther and remove the liver, stomach, and other internal organs. When, when they learn about the structure of the frog, they find it makes the study of the human body easier. The students at St. Charles participate in more appetizing activities than dissection. And here's Bobby with that story. Who isn't interested in food? Have you ever heard of a food board? It is a group of about 25 students from grades 5 through 8 that meets with the cafeteria staff on the last Wednesday of every month. Ms. Sto Mrs. Stolle, the head of the staff, started this program three years ago because she felt the cafeteria would benefit from having the students voice their likes and dislikes. The food board members sample and comment on the food. They bring in recipes they've heard about, suggest different serving ideas, advise on decorating the cafeteria for special events, and recommend anything which might make the lunch hour more pleasant. The food board is one of the most popular activities in school. Another popular activity at school is gym class, especially now because we are doing gymnastics. Everyone agrees that the trampoline and balance beam are their favorites. On a trampoline, we do knee and seat drops, turns, flips, jumps, swivel hips, and stop. On the balance beam, we learn how to mount and dismount, turn, walk, scale, and roll. Our classes are individualized to allow the more and the less skillful to do simple or complex exercises. Tumbling combines strength, flexibility, and endurance. The students are putting the skills they have learned in an individual routine with change of pace, mood, and level of performance. The gymnastic program helps us to grow mentally, emotionally, socially, and physically. So in gym, we just don't stand there, we jump to it. The latest addition to our school is our mobile classroom. It is a large van parked next to the school. This vehicle has two complete rooms, which are classrooms for remedial math and speech therapy. Both rooms are fully equipped for they were designed by educators. They are well constructed and fireproof. This is another means St. Charles is using to meet the individual needs of its children. Thank you for joining us on News 6, which was produced this week by the sixth grade class of Ms. Bonnie Brockert at St. Charles School in Lima. Next week, News 6 will be brought to you by the sixth grade at Bethlehem Trinity Lutheran School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Have a great week.